He has got the control tower down, he's now got the second starport down as well, and I'm a huge fan of pumping science vessels from two starports. I, I just think it's such such an effective strategy to go for. Flash now pushing out, uh, and he's going to have to crawl his way up that map, uh, j just watch for those lurkers. The lurkers go down, and Flash once again is going to have to hold back, uh, and that tank a little bit vulnerable, taking a volley uh, from those mutilists, losing about half its health there, uh, and Flash is just forced to pause once again while he waits for that science vessel, and it's important that Zerg players do that, and that's the difference. If Flash perhaps hadn't lost that first group of medic and marines, he would have been able to push out a little bit earlier and put pressure on Calm and not let Calm get those mutilists as far down the map as Calm was able to all the way down past the middle of the map and that's effectively slowed Flash down and bought Calm more time at his own base uh, in, in terms of putting uh, in terms of Flash putting pressure on Calm now Calm getting those Guardians up at Flash's natural expo uh, to try and do some economic damage here uh, and I'm not sure if, if Flash if Flash will be able to have enough radius to really deal with it but Flash meanwhile is pushing forward towards Calm's natural expo and remember Calm doesn't have a sunken line uh, at all to defend this. He only has got one sunken, so he's going to have to rely on the defilers. But he does have the defiler out. Uh, the question is, is he going to have consumed resources? Oh, just in time! Just in time! And he's able to get those lurkers in play, and this is brilliant by Calm. What timing! What timing! And now Flash's natural expo is being devastated, and he cannot afford this because he is a two-base Terran still, and he cannot afford to not have one of those bases mining. Meanwhile, he has got that Wraith out. Calm has got a couple of Scourges there as well to try and deal with that Wraith, uh, and these Scourges are going to have to land the hits. Now Calm is going to bring the Scourges in. Is he going to be able to take that Wraith down? That Wraith is running away to try and get in range of the Marines uh, and he managed to take one of the Scourges down another Wraith now comes out so that's going to effectively neutralize his Guardians more Scourges coming down how much damage is Flash going to be able to do with those two Wraiths is Sharon buying himself some time by sacrificing that last Scourge four more Scourges coming down but they have a long way to cross Flash is bringing the Medic and Marines to intercept those Scourges meanwhile to make sure those Guardians have nowhere to run brilliant play by Flash those Scourges are going to try and get past none of the Scourges get through they run into a ball of Terran fire and get obliterated uh, but I think those Guardians have reasonably served their purpose they've done a lot of damage to Flash's economy they managed to take out that uh, refinery uh, and take it out a second time so Flash is on one gas. That's more critical even than the mining uh, because he can stack all the all the SCVs, but that second gas, that's just absolutely huge for a Terran player who's only on two bases. Calm, remember, with the three gas, now trying to take that natural expo off the 11 o'clock position, and you've got to say that Calm is in a pretty decent position right now. Flash is not out of it by any means, uh, but he is under a lot of pressure. Now those two raids uh, moving around the map to try and hurt Flash, uh, hurt Calm a little bit. Uh, he's probably going to snipe that over or down, uh, and, and he critically did take out all those scourges. Calm ha needs to be a lot more effective with the scourges as well. If he wants to win this game, he's going to have to play brilliantly with those scourges. Meanwhile, he managed to get that irradiated, and that that was an opportunity there for Calm. If he had some scourges, he could have taken that uh, science buster down as it moved forward. And now Calm just uh, with a couple of zergies, just seeing Flash's forces. Flash does kind of have the middle of the map. He's able to move around, but he's not really doing any damage. Uh, but Calm doesn't want the situation to continue indefinitely. Where Flash can move around the map at will and strike wherever and 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 keep Calm on the defensive. Calm needs to be able to get those scourges in there and land those scourges on those raids and that science vessel. Uh, Flash with only the one science vessel so far. He's okay. He's got a couple more science vessels now out to join his main force. Meanwhile, Flash realizes this is going to be a long game. He's now taking that expansion at the six o'clock position. As as he picks off that Overlord of Calms. Uh, yet another Overlord goes down for Calm. Calm now has got some Scourges in play. He's got a couple of um, links to protect them as well. That Wraith is probably going to get taken down by the Scourges, and he does. He manages to take that Wraith down. Flash now moving forward towards Calm's Natural Expo. Calm with a lot of Lurkers in play. Uh, Flash with Science Vessels uh, irradiating. Calm doesn't seem to have a Defiler there right now, but he does have that Nidus Canal, so he can probably bring the Defiler back should he needs to. The Scourges arriving just a little bit late, and that was the hallmark. I mean, that was the thing that Savior did so well, was his Scourge timing at his peak. It was just immaculate. Every Science Vessel will die. If you remember that game with Iris and Savior, that, that epic 5 match series uh, that we saw in the semi-finals that was actually my first commentary that I did um, you just saw what Scourge play is all about and, and that was what Jadong needed to take him to the next level uh, to bring everything together that is the peak of Zerg play, the pinnacle of Zerg play and that's what Kam is going to need to achieve here. He's gotten a good start but if he wants to take this game from Flash, he's going to have to pull that off as well but Kam will feel that he's in a pretty decent position but he cannot be too passive here. Kam is just Right now, Flash is putting a lot of pressure on Calm, and Calm is being quite passive right now. He's, he's trying to absorb the pressure uh, and let Flash have the middle of the map as he continues to, I guess, get ready to perhaps get those Ultras out or get a decent sized force out that he can move out with the Lurkers uh, along with the Defilers. Uh, but he needs to keep picking those Science Buses off and he needs to put a little bit more pressure on Flash because Flash is now getting that 6 o'clock position up. He's also getting another base up at the 5 o'clock base, and Calm cannot allow that to continue because Flash will then overtake him in terms of macro and put a lot of pressure. Looks like uh, Fla uh, Calm harassing, sorry, Flash harassing Calm at the National Expo of the five o'clock uh, of the eleven o'clock base as well. Uh, Flash, meanwhile, has got two starports with control towers pumping those science vessels. Uh, he's got his racks up, uh, and a decent plague by Calm catches all of Flash's science vessels, uh, and a lone mutilus could do significant damage to them now. Um, 
and, and potentially pick them off. And, and uh, Calm has put a few static defenses in place, not a lot, but a few. He's got that Spore Colony up in front of those Lurkers. That Spore Colony gets picked off, unfortunately, for him, just to kind of, I guess, uh, to keep those plagued Science Vessels at bay. That was clever, but he should have kept the Lurkers in front of the Spore Colony. Unfortunately, losing the Spore Colony there, or positioning that Spore Colony a little bit better. He has got that Ultralisk Cavern up. He's got the uh, Evo Chamber spinning. Uh, it looks like Flash has got one, two upgrades on his Marines, one defense, two attack. Um, I can't really make it out because, unfortunately, in Windows Movie Maker, the size of the video is smaller um, than a full screen, so sometimes I can't see the upgrades. But um, it looks like Flash has got one to it. It'll be interesting to see what Calm is. Calm trying to get that um, drone up there, but it's going to run into the, that group of Marines that are waiting for it. Three Marines there, uh, specifically there to prevent Calm from taking that expo. Meanwhile, uh, Calm sending a bunch of Zergies out. Flash has no medics there, uh, so those Marines are probably going to get picked off. Uh, and yeah, they do get taken down, so he's going to be able to force Flash to cancel this expo. Uh, actually, Flash manages to just complete the expo in time and lift it. Uh, so that's going to be good, because once he clears that out, he'll be able to get that expo back down. Uh, meanwhile, he's been forced to stall the SCVs that he was sending towards that 5 o'clock expo. Uh, Calm, once again, with an overlord trying to scout the middle, almost getting picked up, but moving it off in time. And, and these players, both all their skills are going to be tested. Their micro, their macro, their multitasking, everything is going to be tested. Flash, meanwhile, sending a group of SCVs, along with a group of Marine, American Marines to clear out that bottom right-hand corner. Uh, Flash managed to get an irradiated off on that defiler uh, that caught another bunch of his science vessels. That defiler is probably going to get taken down. I think he was trying to get in range there to put something on top, or yeah, to try to put a swarm over those lurkers, but he wasn't able to get back in time, or I guess have the energy in time. Uh, and now, uh, clearly though, um, significantly though, Calm hasn't killed a lot of science vessels of flashes. He has gotten plagues off, but I haven't really seen any science vessels go down directly myself, uh, and that's something that Calm has to be aware of. He cannot allow Flash to build up a very large science vessel fleet, because that will just hurt him so much. Flash has got a decent sized army in the middle of the ground. Calm has retained control over his half of the map. Now Calm managed to grab a couple of lurkers drop and harassing Flash's economy. And Calm has has done a lot more harassment to Flash the economy than the other way around. Now Flash coming around with the science vessels to try and take those. And this would again be an excellent opportunity if Comp could get some scourges there, uh, but it's very difficult. Meanwhile, now Flash at uh, trying to secure that expa expansion at the 3 o'clock base, coming in with a defiler and some links, uh, while Flash was lured away, with science vessels lured away at that 6 o'clock position. Meanwhile, Flash looks like he's uh, hitting that 12 o'clock base where Comp was trying to get an expo up and running. And both players uh, using hit and run tactics uh, to prevent the other player from getting more expansions down. But right now, Flash has 1, 2, 3, 4 bases. Comp has 1, 2, 3, 4 bases as well. So both players on equal bases and Calm needs to get another base down. And the longer Flash can prevent Calm from doing that, the stronger his position will become in this game. Uh, and Calm cannot allow this to continue. But remember, Calm has been getting ready to pour those Ultralisks into the field. Uh, that's what you feel uh, is going to change the game for him or really give, try and give him an edge in this game, which he wants to try and get. Meanwhile, uh, Calm looks like he is moving out with those uh, four Overlords. They're probably loaded with Ultras, perhaps a Defiler and some Lings. Uh, meanwhile, Calm trying to resecure that 12 o'clock Expo. Flash keeping the pressure up. He's got a large group of Marines, uh, in the large army in the middle of the map that is moving southwards. I think he might have spotted those overlords heading down towards that 5 o'clock base and both players with a rush here. Flash has enough of an army I'm sure to defeat whatever is in those four overlords. He can't have much in those four overlords and Flash does have a decent standing army already there as well uh, and Calm is going to lose those overlords. He's forced to drop prematurely. Managed to get that swarm up. He had a lot of army there and he was unfortunately forced to drop it prematurely but he's going to be able to push up towards that ramp and catch Flash's forces and divide them and prevent them from getting up that base. Now uh, Flash bringing those bringing that massive science vessel fleet into that field, into that theater of combat, uh, and um, he's able to get those Arturists in there and get another swarm in there, so even though he was forced to drop early, he's been able to get a decent sized uh, number of forces there. Now he's got the Scourges waiting for the science vessels. He manages to pick off a lot of science vessels, Flash with three science vessels remaining. Is he going to be able to save them? Another science vessel goes down, two science vessels left, another science vessel goes down, only one science vessel left for Flash. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, horrible for Flash. That was bad. Calm just completely suckered him in there by using that drop. And, and it was almost a, a fortunate drop there for Calm because he was able to keep Flash's medic and Marines away from, by having that swarm just at that ramp. And that forced the science vessels to go in cowboy style. And unfortunately, those cowboys got arrows in their breasts and they've fallen. Uh, and now Flash with just the one science vessel. And this game is beginning to swing in Calm's favor. That's going to take him. Now he lost at least six si or seven science vessels there. And that's going to give Calm the time he needs to secure that 12 o'clock and secure that three o'clock probably as well. Flash bringing out uh, his his main army. He's bringing out siege tanks into support to finally clear out those units that uh, uh, Calm had put down, pestering him down there. Meanwhile, Calm now barreling down with a large group of Zerglings towards Flash's main uh, and his natural expo. Flash has got another large science vessel fleet out as well. Calm managed to take a couple more science vessels down. Uh, Calm with a lot of Zerglings hammering away at Flash's 
forces, but I don't think he's going to have an effective attack here. But he has killed a decent amount of medic and marines. Uh, two lurkers, going, uh, two um, ultras going in by themselves against those marines aren't going to be very effective, unfortunately, for him. He kills a few forces, but I, I feel that Calm split his forces there. Had he concentrated them together, he would have done a lot more damage. He needs to be careful here. He shouldn't let this ha this edge slip away because he's given himself this opportunity to get that expo up and running that he needed to get up. Now we're going to see a massive battle here. Both players with their large forces clashing in the middle of the map. Calm once again with the science vessels. He's managed to get the Calm set off. Calm, however, puts pulls the scourges uh, away just in time. And uh, Calm really could have taken out Flash's army in the middle of the map there. I felt he had enough forces there in terms of Ultralis and Lings if he just got